current president of the Collingwood Football Club, current Mr. President. What have you heard something? Have you? Oh. No, no, I haven't heard anything. Oh, okay. Eddie Maguire, Ed, you must have lots of memories of Lou Richards. Uh, Dougal, uh, I grew up watching Lou Richards. Uh, you know, when I think of as a young boy watching World of Sport and the big replay and all those things, well, even league teams, which I was allowed to stay up on grand final night to see Lou, Jack and Bob, but the, uh, the World of Sport panel. And I remember as a little boy just thinking, oh, you know, the magic of television and the footy coming on the footy panel and waiting for the races to get finished. And, and then I found out that Lou was a former premiership captain of Collingwood. Wow, you know, he was just fantastic. So, yeah, Lou's been in the forefront of my mind as far as football and media has been concerned all my life. And was it, was it at that point when you found out about Lou at Collingwood that that's when you said, I want to be president of that footy club? No, 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 no. I wanted to be, I wanted to be Lou. I wanted to be the premiership captain of, uh, of uh, Collingwood. The uh, president never came did in. Play did, you, yeah, did you play footy? Did you play no, AFL? I, I played football. I didn't play in the seniors. Though. In fact, I was at the, on the, uh, in the under-19s at North Melbourne uh, training down there. But uh, yeah, don't worry about that. But it's uh, more to the point that uh, Lou was just fantastic. And, yeah, that's, my life as a kid was football. Going to the games, playing myself reading about it, uh, you know, I started reporting on it when I was 13 for the, for the Herald, so it's been a, a huge part of my life and, uh, and all of this is down to what Lou did. He was the trailblazer. He turned football into entertainment. He strikes me as an amazing man. I've heard lots of stories that when the red lights are off on the camera, yeah, he's not interested in talking, but when they come on, you know, he's in front of the press. Oh, yeah, but uh, having said that, I mean, when I was a young reporter, Lou grabbed me one in the car park at uh, Carlton of all places and, you know, gave me words of encouragement and, and always looked out for me. And so he's a, he's a great man, Lou. He's been fantastic. I mean, as you know, the time I've been president of Collingwood, again, he's been nothing but supportive all the way through. And you know, even today to have him and Ron come up to me and Ron said, you know, you're doing a great job and things. That, that's what you want to hear as a president. It's not what's in the paper. You want to hear what the legends of Collingwood think. You know, that they, they believe that the club's going in the right direction and that uh, the spirit of what we're doing is, is what their spirit is all about. And we never want to lose what Col the old Collingwood was. And uh, Lou and Ron and these people have passed it on. And, uh, you know, there's no doubt that that's what burns uh, so bright in all our hearts at Collingwood. We, we, we love the old Collingwood, even though we now play at the MCG and at the Westpac Centre. But we've uh, gone back and refurbished Victoria Park now. And it's, uh, it's a wonderful time in our club's history. I think it's fair to say that Lou is getting on 80, 90, his memory's going, his speech is going, but still he manages to talk to the press today. Is he still making appearances down at Collingwood? Uh, no, look, Lou's, you know, he is. Uh, he's uh, down, at, he, he is in spirit. Uh, he comes down every now and again, but, uh, you know, we like to get him to the games as much as we can, but, uh, but time's catching up. Obviously, if we get to the grand final, hopefully we'll get him here. He was here in 2010, which was fantastic for us. But uh, Lou's statue will be up at, uh, you know, January, February next year. You know, at least before the start of the season, and Lou will always be part of Collingwood, whether he's there physically, the Lou Richards persona is, is what Collingwood is all about. It was interesting hearing Gary earlier on telling a story about those snakes at the footy show. Were you part of the show when that happened? No, that was the Sunday footy show. Oh, so, right. uh, but no, Lou, as I said, uh, you know, the footy show was all about a, an homage to uh, really the old days of world of sport uh, with a little bit of modern uh, TV activity thrown in. Not much, I might add. And uh, yeah, it's just great stuff. And not only Lou, but Jack and Bob and Ron Casey and all those greats. And I remember as a, a young reporter at Channel 10, but the, the newsroom had come to a stop for the World of Sport panel and this new bloke that was on there, Sam Newman. And that's where I really got to see Sam in action for the first time. So the great people and, and just wonderful personalities. And uh, they, they really did it for, for the love of the game as much as anything and for the fun of it all. And uh, Lou has just been, you know, you think of Lou, he was dominating the newspapers. He was the, he was the biggest columnist in the biggest paper in Australia by a mile, the, the, the Sun News Pictorial. 3DB was the biggest radio station. Channel 7 was massive as far as the football was concerned. He had all that. He owned the Phoenix Hotel, which was the epicentre of the social life of the city and all the journos. He was up to his neck in the absolute social culture of this town for probably 30 or 40 years. And his fingerprints are all over it. And, uh, you know, he's a wonderful institution in this town. Twice King of Moomba. Uh, you know, I don't know if that's a great measuring tool, but it's, but it's something. You know, it says enough was when Moomba was fair to him as well. So he has just had an amazing life. And to think that he came from, you know, one of the streets of Collingwood and the back blocks there and third generation Collingwood player. Uh, his family, people don't realise that the Panhams, the direct lineage from Charlie Panham, has played more games of football than any other family in the history of the VFL-AFL. So he is a superstar. 
and uh, we acknowledge him at Collingwood and the AFL will do a good job in acknowledging him. He probably should be in the Hall of Fame as a, as a legend. We, we believe that to be the case. We're not going to worry about it because we'll build our own statue to him. Now, you said that before, a uh, part of the panel, there is a statue taking yeah, place of Lou Richards yeah, next year? Yeah, next year. No, the statue is being built as we speak. We designed it and uh, it'll coincide with the reopening of the Westpac Centre. Absolutely fantastic. Fair to say, Lou Richards is a marvel of the Collingwood Football Club. You yourself, Ed, are a legend of the Collingwood Football Club. You got finals football starting this weekend. I'm a servant of the Collingwood Football Club. Collingwood's the legend, and we're just but the custodians for a small time. Big week this weekend. Yep, Friday night against Hawthorne. You know, who can forget last year the preliminary final? Certainly, I don't think they've forgotten it, but uh, it doesn't mean anything when we go into this game. They're playing great football at the moment. We've been uh, just a little bit off in the last few weeks. But having said that, we were able to uh, have a good win on the weekend and we knocked off Sydney up in Sydney. So we know when we get it right, we can beat anybody. And uh, let's hope that we get it right this Friday. It's going to be a cracker of a game. And uh, Bucks too, you, in his first year as coach, how's he handled himself? I think he's handled himself magnificently. Uh, top four, um, the injuries we've had, the tough draw that we had. We had the toughest draw in football. Um, all those things, uh, he's uh, carried himself with, uh, with a plomb. So, um, no, there's no worries about what the coach is doing on Friday night. We'll be ready to go. Final question about Lou, mate, before I let you go, because you've got other media conferences you've got to get to today. Lou Richards, we all know that his wife Edna passed away a couple of years ago. How do you think Lou's handled himself since? Has he gone downhill since? Or? Oh, look, it's a terrific loss. There's no doubt about that. Uh, Lou and Edna were a double act. Uh, Edna, you know, taught him what to wear, what to do, and... While Lou was the, uh, the, the, the public figure and uh, the personality, Edna was very much the strength in the relationship. And uh, in some ways, I look at my own relationship with my wife, uh, Carla, like that she stays away from things, but she is absolutely the bedrock of uh, everything we do in our family. So, yeah, it was a, it was a terrible time for Lou when Edna was uh, uh, suffering from uh, Alzheimer's. And uh, during that uh, period, and anyone who's been involved in that situation knows exactly what it would have been like for Lou. And, yeah, in some ways... The, physically and well, you know, yeah. mentally draining. I mean, Lou's, yeah, and Lou's, you know, old now himself. He's 88, 89 years of age. But there's no doubt that uh, Edna's uh, passing and, and her uh, gradual demise through Alzheimer's had a profound effect upon him. And, uh, you know, I think that uh, as sad as that is, it, it's as beautiful as well that the two of them just worked and lived together and had a wonderful relationship, a great partnership. Uh, you know, they're way ahead of their time. Edna was a, uh, a feminist before feminists knew what a feminist was. She was there running the pubs, doing all the things, working with Lou, uh, bringing up a family, doing all those things. And she was just a, a wonderful, sophisticated, funny, um, elegant woman. And, uh, yeah, the, the two of them, you can't think of Lou without Edna if you knew them together. Well, I'm sure that Lou Richards, who remained an inspiration to the Collingwood Football Club, you yourself are an inspiration, no, no, no. mate. Thanks for having a chat. No, I didn't. Not on Lou Richards, Dave, mate. Lou Richards is a, a class apart from everybody, and uh, he has just been one of the, the greats of uh, this city and of media and certainly of football, and without doubt, one of the all time greats of Collingwood. The official book launch of Lou Richards, My Wonderful Life autobiography written by Lou himself and also with Stephen Phillips. It's a magnificent read. I recommend you all go out to buy a copy of the book because yeah, you, I'm sure that you will love it and get a lot out of it. It's been a great day down here at the Olympic Room, the MCG. We've had Ed McGuire, Sam Newman, Gary Lyon, Bill Brownless, Murray Wiedemann on the panel talking about Lou's life. It's been absolutely fantastic. Uh, stay tuned for more Let's Talk Footy on Joy. Uh, our next event, I can tell you where it would be this afternoon, actually. The AFL, NAB AFL Rising Star Award winner will be announced. So that'll, uh, that'll be uh, coming up next uh, on Let's Talk Footy on Joy 94.9.